Hello Vinyl Community, this is Randy and this is my entry into Norman Maslow Mazzy's 3000 subscriber contest starring San Francisco. To get into the spirit, I am wearing a hat like he would do and closest as I can get to San Francisco shirt is I got one of Alcatraz from 30 years ago, last time I was in San Francisco. I was in the Oakland airport last year, but I don't think that counts. Anyway, his first uh, prompt was to show an album from a musical artist of, from San Francisco. And I chose uh, Ron Loney and the Phantom Movers. Ron Loney was in uh, the Flaming Groovies before this and left to pursue another, a different direction. And I'll bet it was seven years later before he released this. A little more rockabilly and roots rock. And I don't know for extra credit, it does have a song, San Francisco Girls. The next prompt was to show a movie that was set or filmed in San Francisco. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be showing uh, Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock, but I'm going to show DOA from 1950, directed by Rudolf Maté, with starring Edmund O'Brien. You get to see a lot of 50s scenes from San Francisco. You get to see him running up Market Street and some other events. It's, just, it's a really unique movie. It starts out where he goes into the police station and he says he wants to report a murder and they ask who, who was murdered and he goes, I was. And it goes on from there. But great movie, great film noir. DOA shot, half of it was shot in San Francisco, the other half in LA. The next prompt was to name an author associated with San Francisco. And this author, several regions of the country claim, lay claim to him, and including uh, Missouri, where he was born in Florida, Missouri, and grew up in Hannibal, Missouri. And he spent the last years of his life in New York, but he spent an important two and a half years in San Francisco. And that author is Mark Twain. This book's Essays and Sketches of Mark Twain. He's also associated with the quotes, the coldest winter he ever spent was the summer he spent in San Francisco, although it's kind of doubtful he may, be, may have even said that, but uh, that's another topic. But he, was, he worked for the San Francisco Alta California newspaper where he was like a travel correspondent. He also wrote the the celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, which is like one of his most popular short stories that really elevated him to more fame. And he also wrote for the San Francisco newspaper, the San Francisco Daily Morning Call. And so that's my pick for author. It's Mark Twain. The fourth and final prompt was to name an artist associated with San Francisco. I picked the photographer Bruce Steinberg, who passed away in 2008, but he was known for his uh, album cover photos. Uh, he did the debut for It's a Beautiful Day, had the big hit, uh, White Bird. Uh, he actually did the center of the album, this photo, photo, and the back cover with the White Bird, which was the big hit. Uh, Bulgaria was the other single. And kind of a neat, neat label, the San Francisco sound label with the bridge. Try to get this thing, see it? There it is. And another album that he did was uh, Janis Joplin's posthumous release, Farewell Song. And a couple of good, really good songs on here. That title track and One Night Stand. But... Uh, a nice release here and Bruce Steinberg. Folk. What we're hearing in the background is Roy Loney and his Phantom Movers. I think I said Ron earlier. I don't know why I can't get this guy's name right, but it's Roy, Roy Loney. And congratulations, Mazzy, on the soon to be 3,000 subscribers. Yours is one of the first channels I started watching and I wish you nothing but success. Thanks for all the information and the videos that you, you uh, post and good day.